Honorable Conference Chair, Professor Dr. Hussain Mahayuddin Kadri, Deputy Chairman, Board of Governors of Menard University, Lahore. Respected Conference Co-Chair, Professor Dr. Sajid Mahmood Shahzad, Vice Chancellor of Menard University. Distinguished Ambassador Mansoor Ali Khan, Pakistan former Ambassador to Afghanistan and Austria. Distinguished international and national speakers, Dr. Al Kama, esteemed guests, faculty, and students, ladies and gentlemen. I am honored and pleased to address this distinguished international conference on navigating regional dynamics from conflict of cooperation in South Asia. I extend my heartfelt appreciation to Minahad University Lahore. It is esteemed leadership and dedicated organizers for being, bringing together such a distinguished group of international and national speakers. Your commitment to encourage dialogue and understanding on regional affairs is commendable and vital in these times replete with both challenges and opportunities. This conference has encouraged a much needed debate for a better, more harmonious world and expert opinions here serve as a guiding light as we navigate the complexities of our region. Ladies and gentlemen, South Asia is faced with numerous challenges and complexities. From historical disputes to political tensions and security threats, the road to regional stability has been a challenging one. The long-standing Kashmir dispute between India and Pakistan, the issue of terrorism, tenuous peace and stability, cross-border crime, and drug smuggling are some of the critical factors shaping this regional dynamics. However, we must understand and navigate these dynamics to foster a future peace and cooperation. I want to emphasize Pakistan remains steadfast in its commit commitment to regional and international peace. We have consistently taken initiative to facilitate dialogue, peace talks, and conflicts resolutions. Pakistan has been one of the largest contribution to United Nations peacekeeping. Pakistan has always played a crucial role in hosting talks between the Afghanistan, Afghan Taliban and the United States government, aiming to find a peaceful resolution to conflict in Afghanistan. Ladies and gentlemen, our approach in navigating, navigating regional dynamics has evolved. We have shifted our focus from traditional geopolitics to the realm of geoeconomics. Reorganizing and interdependence of nations, we believe that economic cooperation and regional connectivity hold the key to sustainable peace. This paradigm shift brings forth new opportunities for growth and prosperity, transcending borders and fostering mutual understanding. We envision the region as an engine of growth through collaborative efforts and a commitment to poverty alleviation, financial inclusion, and social justice. We envision the region 
as an engine of growth through collaborative efforts and commitment to poverty alleviation, financial inclusion, and social justice. Pakistan is committed to promoting socio-economic developments in the region. We believed in shared prosperity as we understand that the thriving and stable South Asia requires inclusive growth, poverty alleviation, and socioeconomic uplift. Shared prosperity is not just a lofty ideal. It's a pragmatic necessity. Research and analysis have consistently shown that increased regional connectivity will boost the collective GDP of our nations. Therefore, it is imperative that we unite under a shared vision of bringing inclusive and sustainable socio-economic growth to all corners of our region. To achieve these goals, we have launched cooperative development initiatives such as China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPAC, and the Culture Asia South Asia CASA 1000 project. CPAC is a flagship project of a Belt and Road Initiative, connects Western China to the Arabian Sea through Pakistan, promoting trade, infrastructure, development, and energy cooperation. Additionally, CASA 1000 facilitates the sale of surplus electricity from Tajikistan to Kyrgyzstan to Pakistan and Afghanistan, fostering shared benefits and regional integration. Distinguished guests, while Pakistan is committed to regional development, we cannot accomplish this alone. We call upon the regional partners, countries, and the international community to actively support and engage in promoting peace, stability, and economic growth in South Asia. Tourism carries immense potential, and we can reap great benefits of jointly promoting regional tourism. I highlight this notion because tourism plays a bridging role, eliminates stereotypes, and brings people closer. People-to-people -people exchange must be prioritized as we strive to create more stable and prosper South Asia. Through bilateral and multilateral partnership, joint investments, and promotion of good governance, we can create a favorable environment for shared prosperity. Pakistan is committed to regional cooperation, peace building efforts, and transforming complex region into a pivot of growth through collaborative efforts in socio-economic development. I strongly believe that shared vision of the region as well as international support. It is necessary for realizing the goal of cooperation, stability, prosperity, and peace within South Asia. In my capacity as the chairman of the Senate, I pledge our full support to initiatives to the promote peace, stability, and prosperity in our region. We stand ready to engage with our neighbors and meaningful dialogue and cooperation with the shared goal of building a brighter future for all. Let us collectively work together as a region that not only overcomes its historical conflicts, but also emerges as a beacon of stability, prosperity, and shared development. Thank you very much.